This is a quick video on how to transcribe audio using OpenAI's speech-to-text API uh, for non-coders like myself using prompt coding. Um, so we are, we've got OpenAI's Playground open here uh, in another tab, and we've got our documentation here in this tab. And uh, the way this API works is we can feed our uh, our audio in and we'll get our transcript out. So uh, there's a number of supported languages here. And then if you have audio files that are longer than 25 uh, megabytes, then uh, there's a little advice on how to handle that using the PyDub open source Python package. So with that in mind, um, I copied this documentation into our system prompt here and I, I don't even add you know I haven't even added anything else here in our system prompt it's just straight up documentation and then here in the user prompt I have a folder of podcast mp3s that I'd like to transcribe some of them are more than 25 megabytes please write a python script to do this using the speech to text beta right so um, to transcribe, uh, this was the response I got, um, along with the code here, um, which required my open AI API key. So I copied that code, um, and, uh, replaced the file path, right? And the good thing is that, you know, with prompt code and you're, you're, you're getting the prompt and some instructions of what to do with it. And then I realized that I also had some MP4 files as well. So I'm like, oh, wait, some are MP4. I mean, some are MP3, some are MP4. Um, and so to handle both, uh, I had to modify the script. So it gave me the modified script. Then I got an error that I didn't understand. So I just put the error in there without any prompt error. And uh, it told me what the error was and how to resolve it. So I uh, I did that, I installed whatever it told me to install here. And then, um, oh, and then it was working. So I said, this is working well. What's the most straightforward way to parse by speaker when prompted? So um, with that, my uh, I got my transcription. So um, I had maybe 30, almost 30 files and I think within an hour, I had all of those files transcribed. But then I realized that it was just the text. There was no uh, separation between who was talking. And so um, so I went back. What's the most straightforward way to parse by speaker? And so it gave me um, a way to do that, which I haven't, haven't done yet um, because I actually didn't need to. But um, that, was all that, that was all it took. Right, so um, the code that I used, it's all right here. Uh, where is it? So if, if you want it, I can, uh, I can make it available for you. So it would save you a step. But if you wanted to do this from scratch, again, it's simple. It's just uh, taking the documentation, feeding it to the system prompt, and then uh, you know, writing a simple prompt of what you want. And then along the way, iterate in, you know, in natural language like I, I sometimes it's easier for me to just be natural and say yo this is what the problem is because it understands fortunately all right hopefully you found this useful um if you want to know uh what we can do with this next uh, in the next video i'll share how i took those transcripts and then uh used <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> use the chat completions api right here to then take those transcripts and then get summaries, uh, key lessons, um, quotes extracted from, from those podcast transcripts that I just transcribed. So look out for the next video on that. Peace.